Hello, this is Deborah Yao with Black Education TV, and I'm going to be responding to a question regarding sleep paralysis. The question is, what is sleep paralysis? Why does it happen? And how do we overcome this? First, I'm going to read the definition provided by the medical establishment. It says that sleep paralysis, or being un able to move upon waking may be due to narcolepsy. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the definition of narcolepsy to help you understand again what uh, sleep paralysis is from a medical standpoint and then I'm going to go into what it actually is. Narcolepsy is a condition characterized by an extreme tendency to fall asleep whenever in relaxing surroundings. Okay, so to me, the definitions kind of contradict each other. Narcolepsy says a condition characterized by an extreme tendency to fall asleep whenever in relaxing surroundings. And uh, sleep paralysis says that being unable to move upon waking <laughs> due to narcolepsy. So um, that's the medical establishment for you. They're actually providing uh, explanation for something that is very spiritual, but they're giving you a medical definition for it, for it because they're actually directing you away from what sleep paralysis truly is. Many of us have experienced sleep paralysis. Um, I see more and more uh, conversation and dialogue about it, more than I've ever seen before. And I think because of the Internet, um, more and more people are able to share their experiences and are coming into the realization that this is not a medical condition at all because there are things that take place during an episode of sleep paralysis, as they call it. Um, from my standpoint, and in my opinion, this sleep paralysis, as they call it, is actually a demonic attack on your body, and in some cases, your mind as well. There are things that are taking place. Uh, some people um, are experiencing sexual encounters uh, where it's just them present, but uh, some type of demonic force is, um, I would say, spiritually raping them. Uh, some people are having uh, their mouth covered by an invisible hand where they're unable to speak or do anything. Some people have um, an impression on their chest where it appears as though or it feels as though something is sitting on their chest and they're unable to move. Um, they're being held down. Um, some people go through breathing episodes where it's something actually covering their nose and mouth and they're unable to breathe and they're fighting. Various different experiences with this sleep paralysis where the individual is unable to move because their body is being attacked by an invisible force. And like I said, more and more people are starting to talk about this because more and more people are starting to experience these demonic attacks on their person, on their body. And some people buy into the medical um, explanation for it because they don't want to believe anything else, you see. But a lot of people are starting to realize that what grandma told them was true that there is a demon riding them. There's a demon attacking them. A lot of people don't want to believe in demonic encounters, and so they, they would prefer to believe what the medical establishment is saying, but you have to understand that these demonic attacks are happening for a reason. They are happening for a reason. And like I said, in many cases, you know, you're unable to speak during these encounters as well because your mouth is being covered over, you see. And for the person who asks the question, why does this happen and how do you overcome it? Well, the why is demo demonic attacks are just that. They're attacks. And no one is... Um, excluded from getting these. Even a person who is spiritual um, may not get the sleep paralysis attack, but they may get some other form of an attack. But these demonic attacks happen very often to just about anyone. And it's for various reasons that they do happen. 
Uh, some to are to bring about fear. Uh, some are to actually infi inflict some type of pain on your body. Uh, some are because the the demons are wanting to get the upper hand over a person, and they usually start with these types of attacks. Uh, some b can be because you are um, going into a level of spirituality to where uh, the Most High may be trying to reveal something to you and show things to you, and the, and the demonic attacks are to discourage you. Nonetheless, these demonic attacks in which the med medical establishment want to try to guide your mind in another direction, they happen. And this is further proof in the existence of the Most High Yah. And that there is another realm, there's a spiritual realm that we cannot see. Spiritual battles taking, a place, taking place in and around our lives that we cannot ignore. They are happening. Demons don't always just rise up in people, but they, they can attack you in your sleep. They can attack your surroundings. They can attack your children, your body. As a matter of fact, uh, as we've stated in many other videos on our ministry channel, is that many sicknesses or attacks on your body are demonic attacks. And you have people who can try to send curses to you to cause these spiritual attacks. But when that happens... If this is an unwarranted attack against you, you can return to sender every word, every demonic curse spoken or applied, implied against you or your family. You can come against these things. Now, how do you overcome them? That's, that was the last part of this person's question, and which I already started answering that by saying that you can return to sender. But what you want to do what you want to do is understand what is happening first, okay? You definitely want to pray, and in some cases, fast. Seek the Most High. Make sure that when you go before Him that you have repented, repented and confessed your sins before Him, and ask that the Most High help you to understand the power the, and the authority given to you over these spirits, over these demonic attacks, you see, because we need to understand that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. A lot of people try to use wicked demonic spirits to try to force attacks against other people. But you can rebuke those spirits. And you can send those spirits back to where they came. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is why it's important to have a close relationship with the Most High, to know and understand what is happening. Be not afraid of these spirits because they definitely want you to be afraid of them. They are nothing to fear when you understand where they came from, what they're doing, and the power that is given to us through the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why often I return to sender every wicked spirit and demon that has been sent by others, that have been implied, thought, every wicked spirit. Because if Yah be for you, who can be against you? I don't care how, many, how much power a wicked person thinks they have. A lot of times these spirits may come from other people who are speaking, thinking, or trying to curse you. These spirits can be sent. And so when you know that, and you understand the power of the Ruach HaKadosh, you know that these weapons cannot harm you. They can be formed. The weapon may form, but it will never prosper. And you can return to sender. Now, I know a lot of people don't understand how to utilize the, the power of the Most High Yah. And then sometimes your sins can cause you to doubt the Most High Yah. Your sins can call you, cause you to doubt. But this is why you go before Him, seeking forgiveness, repenting, 
confessing your faults. When you do this, you can go before the Most High blameless and ask him to grant you the understanding of the power of the Ruach HaKadosh and to fill you with the power of the Ruach HaKadosh. For those of you who don't understand or know what that is, I'm speaking about the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost as some Christians call it. In the Ivory or Hebrew language, it's Ruach HaKadosh. You see, and so I hope this answers the question to the person who wants to know and understand what sleep paralysis is. It's a demonic attack on your body that the medical establishment has tried to give a medical explanation for when really it's um, a demonic attack. And you can overcome it by the power of the Ruach HaKadosh or the Holy Spirit. You see, get in the word. And all thy getting, get understanding. Don't just read the Bible, study the Bible. And if you lack understanding, pray and ask the Most High to give you understanding. You see? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. There's a whole lot more we can say on this. Um, if you haven't already, you can go to our channel, The Watchman Reports. And uh, we have many videos that we've talked about various things like this. Um, two off the bat that I can think of is opening the door to demons and closing the door to demons. Those are two right there that I can think of, but I know that we've talked about it in many other lessons as well. So if you want to understand a little bit more about demonic warfare, then those are two good places to start. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Shalom.